And welcome back everyone for week 16 of the 2014 NFL season. I'd like to start off by congratulating Gabriella Hughes and Ray Allen, winners of the Geo Nose Contest, for your chance to win some Let's Take the Man's Money gear. You still have one more shot. Just subscribe to my channel and you'll give yourself a, an opportunity to win some fabulous Let's Take the Man's Money gear. Okay, here are this week's picks. The first game we're going to look at has my Minnesota Vikings going to Miami where the Dolphins are six and a half point favorites at home. It's a very similar spot for Minnesota. They were on the road last week against Detroit who I think are a little bit better than Miami and they almost won the game. They, they uh, only missed out by winning by a couple of points. I like uh, the chance for Minnesota to win this game. I don't know if they will but you know what let's take the points so let's take Minnesota plus six and a half. The second game we're going to look at has Atlanta going to New Orleans where the Saints are six point favorites at home. The Saints are coming off a short week uh, after playing in Chicago. They didn't look very impressive against a very bad Chicago team and have lost four straight at home. Meanwhile, Atlanta played their hearts out against Pittsburgh in a tough loss. I like Atlanta to win this game. Whether they do or not is one thing, but let's take the points. So let's go with Atlanta plus six. The third game we're gonna look at has Buffalo going to Oakland where the Raiders are six and a half point Dogs at home, um, Buffalo has to do one of those uh, uh, fly from one end of the country to the other kind of deal. Those usually don't work very well. Also, they're coming off of that big uh, game against Green Bay where they knocked off the mighty Packers. I think there could be a letdown game. Meanwhile, Oakland's won their last two games at home. They're not really worried about their draft pick. So I like Oakland in a possible straight up win. Anyways, let's take the points. Let's take the Raiders plus six and a half. And the last game we're going to look at has Indianapolis going to Dallas. The Cowboys are three-point favorites at home. I think the Dallas Cowboys play a lot better on the road. When they're giving up points, they're not such a good deal. I, I really like Andrew Luck. I, I think the guy is a winner. I think Indianapolis can win this game, and you get the points. So let's take Indianapolis plus three. Okay, here are my four over-under plays. The first game we're going to look at has Detroit going to Chicago. That number is, has dropped a little bit because Clawson is now the quarterback for Chicago. It's the number is 45. You know, Detroit uh, has, is 6-0 and under on the road. A very good defense. The offense isn't playing that well. We're not sure what you're going to get offensively with the new quarterback change. So let's take under the 45. The second game we're going to look at has Kansas City going to Pittsburgh. That number is 46 and a half. You know, Pittsburgh's really has been scoring a lot of points, especially at home where they are 6-0 and over in Pittsburgh. So let's take over the number. Let's go over 40, what is it, 45, six and a half. The third game we're going to look at has Baltimore going to Houston. That number is 41. Uh, Houston's down to, uh, I think, a third-string quarterback or fourth-string Case Keenum or whoever they're going to start. Uh, the great defense. I think this is going to be a low-scoring game, kind of like what Houston played last week against the Colts when it was about 17-10. I think you're going to see the same kind of score here. So let's take under the 41. And the fourth game we're going to look at is one we talked about already. Buffalo's going to Oakland. That number is 39. It's really low, but uh, the, the, the Bills are 2-12. and 12 to the over. In other words, 12 of their 14 games have gone under. I think this is going to be an under here. I don't imagine much scoring from either team. So let's take under the 39. Okay, here's my let's take the man's money parlay play. We're going to take five games, two against the spread, two over under, and one money line play. The first game we're going to take is Atlanta plus six. Let's take the Raiders plus six and a half will take the Pittsburgh Kansas City game over 46 and a half and will take Buffalo Oakland under the 39 and will take Indianapolis on the money line a $25 play will get you $750.50 good luck here are my straight up picks for this week there's nothing like starting off the NFL with a real Thursday night clunker. At least this one has draft implications, as both teams are currently 2-12 and 12 and have a shot at one of the top two picks. The Titans are going with...
quarterback Charlie Whitehurst. Yeah, just like one of these bad boys. So that means they have zero chance of winning. I'll take the Jaguars. There are two Saturday games this week. The first has San Diego at San Francisco. I've all but given up on these two teams, so I'm going to pick the Chargers for no real reason. Philadelphia is at Washington in the second Saturday matchup. I don't think the Redskins have the ability to play spoilers, so I'll go with the Eagles. In the first of the Sunday games, my Minnesota Vikings go to Miami, who have to feel dejected now that they are all but out of the playoffs. Look for the Purple Gang to bring it on after coming close last week in Detroit. So in an upset, take the Vikings. Skull, baby! After that obvious point shaving, that went on in last week's game. Look for Green Bay to bounce back with a win over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who won't want to miss their chance at the top draft pick for next year. Take the Fudgios. This game looks almost too easy to pick as Detroit goes to Chicago. Something smells very fishy here. I'm thinking the Lions get the call from the 702, and the Bears win after stinking up Soldier Field on Monday Night Football. Take the Bears. Speaking of Monday Night Football, the Saints didn't look all that good against the Bears and have lost four straight at home. Atlanta's banged up, but I think they pull off the upset. Take the Falcons. I have no doubt in my mind New England will win this game. The Jets might make it closer than the 10-point spread, but take the Patriots straight up. This one should go right down to the last possession, but in the end, the home field will be the difference. So in a shootout, take the Steelers. Well, the Johnny Manziel era started off with a whimper. Expect the Browns to do a little bit better on offense this week, but Carolina needs this game and will do just enough to win a low-scoring snooze fest. Take the Panthers. The Texans are down to Thad Lewis and or Case Keenum at quarterback, which means it's up to the Houston defense to win the day, and that might be asking too much against a Baltimore team that has outscored their opponents more than any other team with the exception of New England and Green Bay. Take the Ravens. I can't imagine St. Louis losing back-to-back -back home games, especially with the Giants coming to town. Take the Rams. I get the feeling the Bills are coming up flat this week after upsetting the mighty Packers at home last Sunday. They have to fly all the way across the country to Oakland who's won two straight at home, take the Raiders in an upset. Dallas may be without the NFL's leading rusher, DeMarco Ware, this week. If he does play, he still will be limited. Dallas is a better road team than home team, and that Andrew Luck guy is pretty good. I'm going with the Colts. Is there a limit to how many injuries a team can overcome? It's one thing to lose half your defense and your starting quarterback, but now the poor Cardinals are down to Ryan Lindley against the defending champions who are really rounding into form. Take the Seahawks in the last Saturday night football game of the season. And in the last Monday night game of the year, Cincinnati quarterback Andy Dalton gets to show us once again how crappy he is in prime time as Denver visits. Take the Broncos. Okay, and those are my picks for this week. Good luck to you. Make sure you check out my website, geonose.com. You can download my apps that I have there. So starting next week, we're going to be voting for the fourth annual Geo Nose Awards. I'll keep you posted on that. And don't forget to check us out on our Facebook page. I'll leave the link below. All right, for the Geo Nose YouTube channel, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money.